Lord, we've come to minister to you today. We've come to minister to your heart. We've come to worship you in spirit and in truth. We want to worship you in the way you long to be worshiped. We want to pray the words that you long to hear. We want to sing the songs that you long to listen to. Our heart today is filled with love for you, Jesus. And our sole goal is to pour out this love at your feet. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Jesus. We want nothing other than you today, Jesus. All that we do is for you, Jesus. All that we do is done in Jesus' name. We want you, Jesus. Just respond to this worship today, God, and pour your love back out upon us. That's all we ask, that's all we want, God. As your children, we're grateful that you show up each and every time we begin to worship you. You're here right now and we acknowledge your presence. We love you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you, Lord. And we bless you, Lord. All of my devotion is yours. All of my affections are yours. All of my devotion is yours. All of my affections are yours.
just for a gentle touch today. Lord, we want the fullness of your glory. 
we want to gaze into your face and see the fullness of your beauty Lord each and everything that Jesus paid for on the cross so that we could encounter a good God Lord we're standing here in your tent and we're saying we want the fullness of it Lord we want the fullness of your glory we want the fullness of your presence Lord we know that your glory is heavy and we want the fullness all of the heaviness of all of the glory that you have to pour out upon us today as we stand in your tent God we say we want it and every little bit that we've been holding back from you God we offer it up to you right now and we say God in exchange for all we are and all we have to give Lord we want the fullness of your glory we want to have that experience where the cloud of your glory fills the temple and the priest can no longer stand to minister God because you've shown up Lord that's the successful meeting that we're looking towards God not a meeting where we preach or pray or go about the business of doing ministry Lord we're looking for that tent of meeting where you show up where you show up God and it's all about you and just about you come on Lord we want the whole thing today God we're coming in we're approaching the throne of grace boldly as you encouraged us to do and we say we want the whole thing we want the whole thing Lord we're not holding anything back and we don't want you to hold anything back from us we want all that you have God we want all of your presence today Lord we want the fullness of your glory today God we want it all Lord we want it all Lord we want it all Lord help me give you all of me so you give me all of you help me give you all of me holy spirit come help me give you all of me so i can have all of you help me give you all of me this is my heart
the men on the road to a maze You would have gone further But they asked you to abide So we ask you to stay a little while To abide with us, oh Lord Oh, cause we don't want just a visitation We want a habitation of your glory, Lord Oh, more, 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 more Let us invite you into our boat Let us invite you into our boat And like Peter when you spoke his name He walked on the water He walked on the water You're calling the church out of our boats Revival will cost everything Oh Lord, I know you're walking past The church of Nashville The church of America We invite you on our boat And when they had invited the Lord to the boat immediately they were on the other side deeper still it's gonna cost everything it's gonna cost everything give me the strength to give you everything Cause I feel a warm wind is blowing And it's melting all the sadness off of my soul Yeah, and I can smell the sweet cherry blossoms All the pouring, all the gladness to my soul Oh yeah, I feel A warm wind is blowing Oh yeah It's melting all the sadness Off of my soul And I smell the sweet cherry blossoms They pour all the gladness into my soul in winter i believe you in the springtime i see you it's so good to be with you and my hope has come and lord you make all things new your love is my breakthrough and now I sing hallelujah for my hope has come oh hallelujah hallelujah my hope has come yeah see cause I've walked through the valley of the shadow yeah, and I have been tested like silver and gold Lord your faith has taught me to cherish that this light affliction is not my
salvation and I'm not gonna give death any standing ovation and I will lift my soul God with no hesitation cause between you and me there is no separation Frustration. No, I'm not gonna give death any standing ovation. Cause I will lift my very soul, God, with no hesitation. Cause between you and me, there is no separation. plans of the enemy no 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 mm, you sit in the heavens and laugh at the plan of your enemy you do you sit in the heavens you laugh at the plan of your enemy you sit in the heavens and you laugh at the plan of your your You laugh at the plan of your enemies Cause in the winter, I gotta believe you But in the springtime, I see you It's so good to be with you, Lord My hope has come And Lord, you make all things new You're alive in my breakthrough now I sing hallelujah my hope has come Psalm 2 verse 4 says he who sits in the heavens laughs the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. In verse 8, Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. Yes, God. We know that you are not thrown off by the state of the nations today. We know that you're not confused about the differing political perspectives in our nation today. But we know that you sit upon your throne and you are the Prince of Peace. You're not a God of confusion, but you are the Prince of Peace. You are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords. Lord, we thank you that you are the Alpha and the Omega. 
the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher, Lord. We thank you, God, that you sit high above the heavens and the earth upon your throne, and you laugh at all of the vain plans that man may try and make to push you out or to somehow get you to leave. That, that's, there's no way that's possible because, God, you're so in love with us. You're so in love with your creation. You're so in love with humanity. And so, Lord, we're coming to you today in the same way that Psalm chapter 2, verse 8 said, and we are asking of you. We are asking of you, God. We're not going to war with Satan. We're not trying to wrestle the nations away from the death grip of the enemy, God, but we're coming to you today as sons and as daughters. And we're saying, God, we ask of you, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. Lord, we ask of you, Yahweh. <laughs> We ask of you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask of you for the city of Nashville, Lord. We ask of you for the state of Tennessee, Lord. We ask of you for the nation of America, Lord. We ask of you for the nations of the earth, Lord, and we know that you'll give them to us as our heritage. Lord, we come before you today asking, asking for the nations. We ask you to pour your love out upon the, upon the nations. Lord, we ask you to raise up harvesters today who will be so bold to ask for nations. And just right now, all over the world, Lord, each and every person who's listening in, Lord, I pray that you put a holy boldness, a holy fire in their soul to begin to ask you for cities, to begin to ask you for nations, to begin to ask you for people groups, Lord, that you'd put a courage in them to believe that because they walk with you, God, cities shall be their portion. Nations shall be their inheritance. Lord, you're raising up world changers right now. You're lifting up harvesters right now. You're setting missionaries apart right now. You're consecrating reformers right now. Lord, you're doing a new work in people's hearts all over the world right now. And Lord, we ask you, God, for the nations. We ask you, Lord, for the nations. Lord, we ask you for Japan. We ask you for Korea. We ask you for Mexico. We ask you for Germany. We ask you for Indonesia. We ask you for Canada, Lord. We ask you for the nations of the earth today. Right now, you're giving out nations, Lord. And we're just inviting you. We're inviting you. We're inviting you into this boat. As we sang before, Lord, we're inviting you in. And we're asking you for these nations, Lord. We want revival. We want it, and we're asking you for it, Lord. We purpose in our hearts to see it in our generation, God. We're not going to relent until we see the nations of the earth, earth harvested into their full purpose, Lord. <laughs> and we believe that you can do it, you can give it, and all we have to do is ask for it, God. It's not about our striving, our performance, our good behavior, Lord, but we're coming to you and we're asking you for it, Lord. We're asking you for the nations. We're asking you for breakthrough. We trust you to respond. I know there are folks who have um, just been listening in to these prayer sets from all over the world and each and every one that we put out, there's more folks in the comments or sending us messages, listening to these all over the world. And I just, I get the sense that God is shifting something in your heart today. Maybe you heard your nation called out or you thought, what about my nation, Lord? And God says yes to you. God says yes to your request. Be so bold to ask him for your city. Come on, right now, just begin to open up your mouth and ask the Lord for your city. Just begin to open up your lips and ask the Lord for your nation because he's such a generous God. He's such a good father. He's gonna give you that. Lord, we ask, we ask for these nations as our heritage, as our inheritance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. King of the lowly He 
is jealous for his own And who is this who stands before me Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy.
this song over Nashville <laughs> we prophesy this song over Nashville we prophesy this over Tennessee we prophesy this song from Joel 2 what the locust has eaten God will restore what the famine is stolen, God will restore in abundance. It's His promise to your family. It's His promise to your church. It's His promise to your nation. It's His promise to His people. So we just say, we prophesy over your heart. Oh, be glad, children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord. Your God, for He sends the rain to demonstrate 
his faithfulness. You're faithful, Lord of the harvest, yeah. And once more, the winds will come, just like the rains of spring. And your threshing floor will be again. going to overflow with new wine and with olive oil and I will give you back what you've lost everything says the Lord your precious will Something in you and me. Oh, let it be, let it be. Yeah. New wine, oh, the new wine. Yeah, new olive oil being poured out. What the locust is stolen, you're gonna restore, cause that's just who. sustain the corporate move of God.
with an abundance where you have sown in tears oh buckets and armfuls are coming they're coming Presses will overflow New wine and olive oil And I will give you back what you've lost Says the Lord time that we've uh, just been worshiping today I continue to feel drawn to the story of Obed-Edom when the ark was placed on his property and just how much God blessed him and his family flourished and I just want to pray but also proclaim that that's our inheritance wherever we go and whatever we do the ark of the Lord's presence is with us it's upon us it's within us it's within our homes our jobs our churches our kids every single thing that we touch the lord himself touches through us so lord we just want to thank you for your promises of flourishing and blessing and overflow and breakthrough and more than enough lord we just say we are thankful for your presence where would we go what would we do what would we have without your presence what a gift it is thank you Jesus for your presence Lord we thank you we expect because your presence is where we are right now for everything to flourish around us everything just to turn to gold and be blessed because you're there and wherever you are, God, is a good place. We just say like Moses said, don't send us up from here if your presence does not go with us. Because where we want to be is exactly where you are. And if you're not there, we don't want to go. So today, God, we take our stand in this place of the presence. And I just get the sense that we have brought you joy today. That these songs and scriptures and prayers have delighted your heart Lord and we just say stay abide remain like you did upon Jesus at his baptism Holy Spirit just remain upon us just abide upon us just stay with us God we really are presence people we're people of your presence it's all we want it's all we need it's what we desire your presence Lord so thank you for marking us today with your presence we go forth from this place different like Enoch different transformed moved <laughs> to another place to a different reality we're a new creation and this is the new normal in Jesus name amen Amen. Amen.